There is something quite exceptional about standing in front of a 100 inch screen on a 4K ultra short throw projector. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. This is the review of the WiMAX 4K UST laser projector. Let's take a closer look. Now, before we start, I'm just going to point out that this is also fully workable in a bright room. As you can see, I've got my blind open. It's the middle of the morning and it's still producing a stunning, stunning image. So those of you that were thinking, I don't want to be sitting in a dark room with a projector all the time. Well, you're not going to be doing that with this one. OK, let's head into the unboxing. Now, despite the packaging, we're actually looking today at the WiMAX Nova Ultra Short Throw Projector. This is a 4K projector and it is built to a really good standard. And I'll show you that in just a second. OK, let's take off this packaging and you'll see exactly what I mean. So the projector itself is made of plastic, but it has almost got this brushed steel or aluminium effect to it. It also has a nice, robust, substantial feel to it. It actually weighs 21 and a half pounds, which is just under 10 kilos. So I really like the clean, simple lines of this projector. I think it looks great. And that little black layer at the bottom just adds to the quality, giving it an overall very premium feel. Like with many of these ultra short throw laser projectors, the majority of the connections are on the back, including the power port. But on this one, there is the added USB port on the side, which again is a nice touch. There's also the wheel to adjust the feet. And there's one of these on both sides of the projector. So you can tilt it if you wish. Now, those connections, again, it's very comprehensive. You have your Ethernet or Ethernet port, you have your optical audio, as well as an audio output and an AV input. There's another USB port on the back, and then you have three HDMI, including HDMI 3, which is an ARC port. The window for the laser is very small and very concealed, and there's also a protector so that if you do get too close, it will shut off the display, protecting your eyes. The WiMAX Nova has a very small footprint at just 18 inches by 12 inches wide and also just three and a half inches tall. This makes it substantially smaller than the Vava 4K projector that we reviewed earlier on this year. This means it's likely to fit on more TV units and not have to sit out from the wall so far. OK, so I've got mine just 25 centimetres away from the wall. That's around 10 inches and it's giving me an image size of 100 inches. That I've actually had to reduce because my screen is a fixed screen of 100 inches. This will go higher. The projector has automatic focus, that's electronic focus, and also eight access or eight point or four point keystone correction, which means that you can do exactly what I'm doing now. Drag the image to fit your screen perfectly. This is brilliant for getting the absolute perfect image and not having any waste over like you're seeing here. Now, the other thing that blew me away was the sound quality. This has 30 watts worth of speaker inside. That means it's got two 10 watt speakers on the left and right, and then it's also got two five watt tweeters, giving you some quite incredible sound, probably the best sound that I've heard on this type of projector. Like I always say though, if you are spending this type of money on a setup, then I definitely recommend that you get something like is being displayed on the screen now, maybe a Sonos system, because with a soundbar and your surrounds, you're never going to beat that type of setup. But the speakers on this thing are definitely completely fine and very, very impressive, as is the picture. This is just one of my previous YouTube videos, which I'm just recording from my phone because this didn't get the flicker. I will show you some more footage in a second, but it does have some of that screen flicker and rest assured you do not see any of that when you're actually watching the screen this is just coming from the type of camera that I'm using but the detail and the level of quality of the image again is absolutely stunning it looks incredible in a pitch black room like this and it doesn't matter whether you're watching something or whether you're playing a game the colors are bright and vibrant and vivid and the black level detail well it's surprisingly good when you're in a darker room as always, as the room gets lighter, the image is going to degrade. But this, as I said right at the very beginning, is still very watchable, even in a bright room. Like with any projector, the input lag on them tends to be a little bit slower, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend them for like really serious fast gaming because it's probably going to be a little bit slower. But having the convenience of such a small style projector so close to the wall so you don't have to worry about long cables or fixing it to a ceiling 
giving you this 100 to 150 inch image just it really just absolutely blows me away every time I see it I think it looks incredible and everyone that comes upstairs into my studio thinks exactly the same they're blown away by the quality now this is a big year for sporting events there's the Olympics coming up and there's also the European Championships so I'm definitely looking forward to shutting my door sitting in front of this and watching some incredible sport as well as probably the odd movie on this amazing projector just look at the size as we stand in front and just take in the beauty of it it is quite incredible so these four shots here give you an idea of the different level of picture or the brightness of the picture that you can get depending on the level of light in the room. Now all of these have been taken at the same time, roughly around 11.30 mid-morning on a very bright day. And as you can see, all I've done is change the blind position slightly lower each time and that then gives you an incredibly different image. They're all pretty good, but obviously the lower the blind, the better the picture. Now the software running on this machine is a form of Android TV. I would say it's about a seven out of 10. It has got the majority of things there like YouTube, ESPN, Prime Video, but it doesn't have something like Netflix. You can obviously use a third party device like a Fire Stick or an Apple TV to get that however, and it worked no problem at all. As well as my PS5, I've got my satellite or cable box installed and that does a great job and that has Netflix in it. So having those three HDMI ports definitely works really well. The operating system other than that is fast and responsive. You can switch between all of the different functions and there's shortcuts on the left and there's also a shortcut button. One of the things I like is if you want the screen off and you just want to use this as a Bluetooth speaker, you can do that very easily just setting it to Bluetooth. Okay, so let's go over some of those tech specs now. Here are the main highlights. The Wemax Nova is a 4K Ultra HD Ultra Short Throw projector, and that means that you get that huge screen from just around 30 centimeters away. The screen size recommendation is between 80 and 150 inches, so whichever way you look at it, it's gonna be big. The light source is actually a 5,000 lumen light source giving you 2,100 ANSI lumens. The speaker system, which we mentioned and showed you earlier, is a total of 30 watts Dolby DTS speakers. There is an Android 9.0 operating system, so you don't actually need anything at all to plug into the back of this, but as we discussed, we do recommend it to avoid or overcome the problem with Netflix. Okay, this has three HDMI ports. One of those has an ARC, an audio return channel, which means it's great if you want to use a separate sound system or a sound bar, for instance. The optical audio will also allow you to do that, and you've got an RJ45 Ethernet or Ethernet, depending on where you're from, port already there. The other thing that I love about this is you literally just turn it on. There's easy installation. You don't have to mount it to a ceiling. You don't have to have wires going right through the room. You literally just need to put it in front of a wall or in front of a screen and turn it on. So my friends, in summary, I've been really impressed with the Wemax Nova. I absolutely love the form factor. It is just so small and looks so good on my tabletop. I think it is an absolute winner. It definitely delivers in terms of brightness, picture quality, and definitely sound. This, if you want big screen action this year, is definitely one that you ought to consider. Check out the links in the description and check out the website for more information. There will also be latest price links there for you to check out the latest price in your location at the time when you're watching this video. Thank you so much, my friends, for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you on the next, and have a great day.